Adobe XD is the all-in-one UX UI solution for designing websites, mobile apps, and more. Design, prototype, share, all in XD. XD has powerful tools that are easy to use and eliminate tedious tasks. Switch from design to prototype mode in a single click. Quickly communicate the flow and paths of your experience and then preview your prototype. Make changes to your design and see your prototype update automatically. Generate shareable web links of your interactive prototypes to get feedback on your designs. Reviewers can preview them on mobile and desktop browsers. Reviewers can comment directly on your prototypes and specific parts of your design. Whether designing on Mac or Windows 10, you can create everything from low fidelity wireframes to fully interactive prototypes for any screen in minutes. Be sure to check out the series of tutorials to learn how to use the intuitive features in Adobe XD. Let's take a brief tour of Adobe XD. When you launch XD, the welcome screen provides a starting point for your experience design and includes helpful resources to get you started. Start with the in-app tutorial to quickly learn how to use XD. Download UI kits to get a head start on your design. Quickly access your recent files by selecting them here. Go to the resources section to access detailed help docs or to provide feedback to the Adobe XD team. When you're ready to create a new design, click one of the presets along the top. Click below each preset for a list of additional sizes. Whether you work with Adobe XD on Mac or Windows 10, you get the same power, precision, and performance to create prototypes. Access the menu for Mac at the top and from the hamburger menu on Windows. There are two modes in XD, Design and Prototype. Use Design mode to design the screens of your experience. Use Prototype mode to wire interactions that will simulate the flow of the product you are designing. The available tools and layout change depending on the mode you're in. When in Design mode, the design tools are available on the left. Use the rectangle, ellipse, line, pen, and text tools to design your artboards. Use the Artboard tool to add more artboards when you need them. Open the Assets panel to reuse colors, character styles, and symbols to help you design quickly. Select the Zoom tool to zoom in, or click and drag to focus on a specific area. The Context Sensitive Properties Inspector on the right lets you modify the properties of the currently selected object. Open the Layers panel to quickly navigate artboards or individual objects. Switch to Prototype mode to wire the interactions between screens. To create prototypes, drag wires from an object or artboard to another artboard and use the dialog to define the interaction details. Use the in-app preview window from design or prototype mode to preview your designs and interact with your prototypes. You can also access layers and assets while in prototype mode to navigate or update your design quickly from anywhere within XD. In-app preview immediately reflects changes to design and prototype interactions. When you're ready to share your interactive prototype, click Share Online and create a link you can share with reviewers to preview your designs on mobile and desktop browsers. Be sure to check out the tutorials available for Adobe XD to learn how to use all of these tools in more detail. When XD is first launched, a start screen appears that gives you a number of options for opening files. I'm going to start my project by clicking on a new file with an iPhone 6, 7 sized artboard in place. I'd like to add three more of the same sized artboards to my file, so I grab the artboard tool and click on the canvas three times. To rename my artboards, I can double click a title and key in something new, or I can click on the layers panel icon, double click on artboard name and type in a new name. Once you edit one artboard name in the Layers panel, you can tap click to select the other layers in order, or tap Shift to select them in reverse. Changes made in the Layers panel are applied immediately to artboards on the canvas.
As I add text, graphics, and images to my artboards, they'll appear in the Layers panel too. I know I want a couple of artboards to be taller from the outset, so I can design them as screens that scroll. I shift-click two artboards to select them. Then I click the bottom handle of the selection container and I drag it down. Both artboards are lengthened together. Notice a dash line appears in the center of these two artboards. That indicates the fold line. Anything I put underneath will appear only when my page is scrolled, provided I have vertical scrolling enabled. For example, if I draw a rectangle above the fold on this artboard and fill it with a gradient, only that portion of my page appears if I click the desktop preview button unless I scroll down to the white area underneath. If I want to add a solid color background to an artboard, I simply select it, click the fill swatch in the property inspector, and choose my color. I can also enter a hexadecimal number or shorthand, followed by enter or return on my keyboard. To add a grid to help you lay out your pages, click the grid checkbox in the property inspector. Change the grid cell size as desired or the color. Simply click make default if you want to reuse this configuration on another page. Then apply as necessary. Next, start using XD's drawing and text tools to lay out your experience. I'll begin by selecting the text tool clicking and dragging out a text container. Notice it snaps to the grid if I get near it. I'll key in my app's name, which is Ginchi, and adjust its size and alignment in the property inspector, knowing I'll replace it with the real logo type later. Next, I'll key in text for a social sign and link. On second thoughts, I'd rather have that be a button. So I'll grab the rectangle tool, click and drag a button shape, now, because it's drawn on top of my text, I go to the Layers panel where it's already highlighted and I drag it down to change the stacking order. I choose the Select tool and with the Shift key, I click on the text in the Layers panel to select both items. I then go over to my Align and Distribute buttons and click Align Middle Vertically and Align Middle Horizontally to perfectly center one above the other. Then I reposition the button on my canvas. Because I need three buttons in one column on this page, I click Repeat Grid. This allows me to simply click a gripper and pull it out until I have what I want. I can also go into the space between the buttons and click and drag to change the margins. I'll further discuss editing repeat grids in the next video. I like the size and style of my Ginchi head and button text, and I want to reuse these styles across my design. I simply select the artboard they are on, Click the Assets panel icon to open it, and click the plus sign next to Character Styles. All styles on this artboard are added and can be used elsewhere in my file. Another powerful feature in NXT is Symbols, which you can also manage from the Assets panel. I can draw a shape as simple as a rectangle, like I'm doing here, to reserve space for a header. If I make it a symbol and copy and paste it to other artboards, Changes that I make to the symbol are applied across all the instances except in the case of overrides. For example, if I double click into the symbol and draw a few ellipses inside the rectangle to serve as placeholders for icons to be added later, they appear in all instances of this symbol. With XD, you have the tools and performance to design your experience from scratch. XD also offers easy access to other resources that make getting started easier. This includes wireframes which have pre-built templates and components that can be used as is or customized, as well as other UI resources for designing for Apple iOS, Google Material Design, and Microsoft Windows. I'll go into these in more detail in the next video. Now that I have the foundation of a few screens in place, I'm going to show you how to use XC's features and other resources to build things out even faster. Here I've built a sample product tile. As you can see, it's sitting on the pasteboard and is not part of the artboard. The pasteboard is a good place to experiment or hold items that aren't immediately needed. At any point, I can drag something from the pasteboard to an artboard. However, if I don't get it all the way on, the part that bleeds off the artboard appears ghosted and that part disappears altogether when the item is deselected. If I select it again and drag it further into the artboard, XD helps me center align it. If I copy something from one artboard to another, it will paste it into the same relative position provided the whole artboard is showing. I can reposition it as necessary. This product tile is only one of several I want to show on my homepage. 
by selecting it and choosing Repeat Grid from the Property Inspector, I can make an unlimited number of identical copies on a horizontal and or vertical grid. In this case, I'll repeat the tile a few times vertically. I click the margin between any of the copies and drag to adjust the spacing. Changes I make to any of the elements inside a repeat grid occurs in them all. Here I'm rescaling the like icon or heart and bolding the product name placeholder. I can also add and remove items. Here I'll add an avatar component for likes. I'll grab the ellipse tool and lay in some circles to be populated with images later. I click and drag the ellipse tool and hold the shift key to constrain it to a circle. By adding the option key on Mac or the alt key on Windows, I can also constrain it from the center. I want multiple circles, so I click on repeat grid again and pull the gripper right to make a few copies. I want my circles overlapped, so I click in the margin and drag left to a negative number. At this point, I have one repeat grid nested inside of another one, which is pretty cool. Next, I want to put a touchpad on my search page. So I go to File, Get UI Kits, and I pick the platform I'm interested in. After following the instructions on the page where it is located and downloading the file, I open it up. I locate a keypad, I click on my Zoom tool, and I drag across the part of the UI kit I'm interested in seeing up close. I grab my Select tool, I click on the keypad, and choose Edit, Copy. I go back to my working file, make sure that the search artboard is selected, and I choose Edit, Paste. I click the keypad and drag it where I want it. Next, I want to add a Create an Account artboard between my first and second screens. Since it's a fairly standard page, I'll look for something pre-built. I go to the File menu, choose Get UI Kits again, and this time select Wireframes. I download and unzip this file and open up the mobile file. This opens up a file created specifically for Adobe XD and includes a wide range of templates and UI elements 